if Dave Bautista turned up at your cabin in the middle of the woods and knocked on your door, would you let him in? That is the quandary we're about to face with the new movie, M. Night Shyamalan's Shyamal Shyam Shyam Sh I'm gonna have to do the fell 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 again. Is it any good? Does M. Night Shyamalan do it again? Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Jay Bunting Johnson. Subscribe if you're new and you like this video. While vacationing, the girl and her parents are taken hostage by armed strangers who demand that the family make a choice to avert the apocalypse. It's like an eclair, this film, is how I would describe it. On the outside, you have a horror trope, but on the inside, you have something far more Shyamalan. You've got the cabin, you've got the woods, you've got the strangers turning up, wielding weapons, knocking on the door politely. That's a red flag. You've got a couple and a child all alone, not much service on your phones, just basically seclusion. And then on top of that, you've got a quandary that is presented to you. What would you do if you were asked to give up one of your loved ones in order to save the world? So Knock at the Cabin stars Dave Bautista, who has really, over the last few years, built up a quality filmography, really. Has proven that he's got really pretty good taste. Batista plays Leonard, the leader of the strangers who turn up at the cabin. Then you have Jonathan Groff, who you may or may not know from one of my favourite shows of the last couple of years, Mindhunter, as well as other things. He also does musicals. He plays one half of the couple, along with their daughter. His partner is played by Ben Aldridge. I've never seen Ben Aldridge before in my entire life. <laughs> and like, who the... It's Ben Aldridge. And then you have the little girl who's played by Kristen Cooey, who plays Wen. You also have Rupert Grint, who in his second outing working with Shyamalan after The Servant in a small but pivotal part, as well as fellow Brits, Nikki Amuka Bird and Abby Quinn. Really good films unify our joint humanity. And Knock at the Cabin does that by having a same sex couple at the center of this moral conundrum of a movie. In the same way that Sarah Connor just might be one of the best characters in one of the best films of the 80s and 90s, Knock at the Cabin might just inadvertently do the same thing for same sex couplings, allowing the audience to see themselves in this very human couple with a terrible cross to bear. Knock at the Cabin is ultimately, without going into too many details, about humanity. A sort of Sophie's choice on steroids and on a far more biblical scale. At its heart, this is a simple film about the purity of love and what we as humans are willing to do to preserve that. The film centers on Eric, played by Jonathan Groth, and Andrew, played by Ben Aldridge. A married couple on holiday with their adopted daughter, whose name is Wen, in a cabin that happens to be in the middle of nowhere, as they always are. A literal knock at their door reveals four very different characters, led by Dave Bautista's Leonard, who politely, impolitely asks if they can come in. Plus, you know, Dave Bautista is absolutely huge, so even politely is kind of impolite. From there it goes bananas, in a way that you'd expect, but also in ways that you probably wouldn't. The crux being, the family of three are captured and presented with an almost impossible moral conundrum. Ultimately, this dilemma will test the two very different personalities that make up this couple. So on the one hand, you've got Andrew, the guy with the bad temper, who's far more reactive to situations he's put in. And on the other, you've got someone who's far more religious in Eric, more by the book, who's capable, as stated in the film, of sucking the life and joy out of every scenario he's placed in. The film is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, whose work needs little introduction with classics such as The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, and Signs, as well as less successful but equally talked about movies such as The Last Airbender and The Happy. Of all of his films, this felt most connected to science, which may have been his most spiritual work. This feels like a companion piece, or cousin, where he uses out of this world or just crazy scenarios to tell a story that is altogether more spiritual. Like in the case of Signs, a priest falling out of love with his religion. The performances are all on point, and it definitely feels like a Shyamalan picture as his voice is just so distinctive. The score plays like a horror film, playing on tropes we're familiar with, but also like a deliberate way to subvert the audience in a way that only Shyamalan can. In the end, this is a film that successfully has its cake and eats it too, delivering the thrills and scares of a Friday night horror movie, also delivering much more, being depth, spirituality, and most importantly, humanity. 
city. So in this respect, it is what Shyamalan does best, delivering yet another crowd pleaser with soul. So for those of the movie, it's sort of a short and sweet story ultimately, and you don't get to maybe spend enough time with the strangers in a, in a funny kind of a way, and you'll understand that more when you see the film. I wouldn't say it suffers exactly, but I would say that you could get to know a little more about the strangers in a slightly less tight version. High scenes, I would say, Shyamalan is, is great at set pieces and the scene where the strangers finally get into the cabin is really well orchestrated. But overall, in terms of highs, I would say the sort of culmination of the story is what stayed with me. Once you understand what it really is, it's quite satisfying and elevates itself from your normal Friday, Saturday night fare. So ultimately, Knock at the Cabin is a decent M. Night Shyamalan entry. I really enjoyed it actually, and it moved me. I think that M. Night Shyamalan films are always worth a look because he has such a distinctive style and voice. He uses the camera like very few other people and his sensibilities are also very much his own. And this does feel like another entry, far more meditative, but at the same time, he gives you the thrills, he gives you the tropes that you would come to expect and need to allow his more thoughtful views to get heard. Everybody in the cast is solid, as mentioned. Cinema has proven that you can relate to pretty much anyone and yet you haven't seen same-sex couples at the centre of things often and this film proves by the end that ultimately that device of empathy that the cinema extracts like a wand can be used for anyone and this film if nothing else illustrates that beautifully and it's also very moving because it's sort of a character study of a couple where they are now during the course of their stay at a cabin along with their daughter but also how they came to be and some of the beats of what brought them to loving each other as they do which 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 ultimately makes what has to be done within the film all the greater. A thumbs up from me, good film. Shyamalan, I'm still a fan. Get out, go see it. And also let me know what you thought of it. I don't know if the choice that they ultimately make that everyone would make. So let me know what you would do once you've seen the film. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you are a Shyamalan fan. And also let me know what point you would buy it because it's tough, isn't it? Three strangers coming into your yard, telling you about how you've got to make some decision on biblical proportions. What point in the film would you actually go okay I think they're telling the truth let me know I'd love to hear it if you guys enjoyed this review make sure to drop a thumbs up to support this channel it's easy see so as many of you know I'm also a filmmaker consider watching my stuff and sharing your thoughts the episodes can be found here and probably here we've made a little web series do check it out share your thoughts and donate if you can there's lots of giveaways and the link can be found below in the description